the new perks that they bring to the table. And there are also some other small changes added in, but we'll be covering those as we get to them. But in the meantime, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Rottweiler update. And we have come prepared because for now, the only way to acquire Rottweilers is going to be via the new basket with a puppies crate over here. And we've got about 15 of them to pop on open with some of the prizes, of course, being the shot at getting our hands on a Rottweiler puppy. And hopefully 15 will be more than enough for us to go ahead and do this. So without further ado, let's get to open it. We got a Corgi puppy one. We got a Rottweiler rank one. Let's freaking go. That's a great start. We're going to be getting some more of those and hopefully we can get more than one. We got a Rottweiler rank two. You bloody love to see that. Please, let's keep the good luck and good vibes going. We got a rank three. No, just a rank one. Maybe we'll be able to breed them though. We got another Husky coming our way. We got another Corgi shoe coming our way too. And another Rottweiler. This one's rank one as well, so maybe we'll be able to... Ooh, Husky rank three. Okay, well, that's not the Rottweiler that I'm looking for, but I will take that because hopefully we'll be able to breed them up and uh, maybe get our hands on a level three Rottweiler today. That would be pretty cool. Let's go and open up the last of five of these. We got a Shepherd puppy coming away. We got a little Corgi rank two. We got a Husky rank two, and please, can we get a... Another Rottweiler rank one. That's all right. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to breed them in some good way, shape, form, or fashion. But welcome all back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And after grabbing them from our inbox, y'all can see that it actually appears like puppies appear in your inbox now in a different way. No longer. Or I don't know. Maybe this is just if you get them from the basket, but like that you literally have the dog in your inventory. Beforehand, it actually looked like it was like a tidy crate or something like that. But now we actually have a, a full-fledged pup over here. So we got Bear, the level uh, two Rottweiler coming our way. We got... Uh, uh, with Dakota coming our way uh, too. And it does appear like the new Rottweiler pup is essentially kind of like the same dog breed uh, across the board. So nothing too crazy going on over there, but okie dokie, artichokey. Now the real crazy part is what crates we're going to be able to get from these guys. We just want to go ahead and feed them, which we will be doing that while we are doing that. Hope you're out there. Seven absolute fan freaking fantastic day of the most days of variety that only keeps getting better from here on out. Whether that be for the video, bring your smile, bring your giggle, anything or everything like that. It does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossed my fingers and neatly do. That's exactly what that joy do do because without nothing else, we're a smile on my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some way, a shape, a form, a fashion, and uh, some of these Rottweilers will definitely be bringing some joy uh, my way because look at these adorable things and let's see exactly, oh my goodness, we actually just got awful luck and every one of the level one Rottweilers was a girl, dude. We are not going to be able to breed any of them. Unless there was like another like Rottweiler over here that like filled up a little bit earlier. No, no, that, that's the five Rottweilers we got. So, I mean, let's see if maybe we're getting lucky and we'll be able to get any of the new perks from these guys. We'll go ahead and go over some of those new perks a little more in depth too. But Bear, buddy, do you have anything good coming your way for me? Get careful. Perk. Oh, we got the fighter and the hunter. He, well, why was he a level three? I thought he was level two, but he just turned into a level three. I don't know. I'm not complaining. And let's freaking go this dog deals 50 percent more base damage with the true friend that is one of the new perks unfortunately it appears like this is a perk that you need to pair along with the true friend perk because by the sounds of it uh i mean i i can try to throw this you know in exchange for someone that we have over here with the leader perk that increases the damage done uh, but unfortunately, it appears that this is this dog specifically deals 50% more base damage with the true friend perk. Um, so I don't think that this is going to apply to a different true friend. I think we got to get true friend on one of these Rottweilers. And that is exactly what we are going to be striving through. But okie dokie, artichokey. We got a few more pups over here that we can get to level up. And maybe one of these will turn into a level two for some reason. No, just Bear decided to become a level two for some reason. That, that, I appreciate the help, Bear. That was awfully cash money of you but uh, everyone else over here is uh, appearing to stay as a level one and they really no fancy new perks on these but we do have bear over here with a fancy new perk so just for the sake of science we are definitely gonna be bringing the pups out to play and tucker my boy i'm gonna go and uh, you know just hide you over there uh, for the time being so we can come and get bear in to see if this fighter perk does do anything for Lexi. I don't think it will, by the way, it's being described, but y'all know me, we're always doing everything that we can to show off all that does come with new updates. And as y'all uh, can see, we got a new update today. So we're gonna be doing exactly that. But all right, in the meantime, let's go and actually break down some of these new traits that we are going to be able to see. So obviously we have the fighter perk. Here it says the true friend deals more base damage, but once you get it, it is described a little bit differently. And it's actually like, hey, if this dog has the true friend perk, it does a little bit more damage. Um, So that's a little, little bit of a bummer. Uh, the resilient is 
also a new perk. The true friend fights enemies for a longer time, so it's able to last even longer uh, in between like feeding sessions for your true friend pup to come on out and uh, play the Predator, which actually I think I am most excited to get my hands upon. And by the way, let me know in that comment section down below what y'all do think about all these perks, which one y'all are most excited for, anything and everything like that. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Always love to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions on the update as we continue checking it out. But uh, this one, I really, really want to get, man. The Predator perk just seems like an awesome one to essentially have your dog be able to start doing bleeding damage. That's not an easy thing uh, to come across. And we also have the Keen Nose perk over here on the level 3 side of thing where the true friend finds more rewards. So y'all know some of those spots like over in Bunker Alpha where you can send your pup in to go and get some loot. It appears like if we could get that Keen Nose perk, there's going to be something interesting to be had uh, over there. And then on the level 4 side of things, nothing new with the rank 4s. Uh, but there y'all have it. Some of the new perks and honestly a lot of them seem really cool. And those new perks of course are from what I have heard exclusive to the new Rottweiler dogs. And unfortunately like I was saying, I do believe currently the only way, this is current by the way, to get a Rottweiler pup is going to be via those uh, packs in the store. Now, perhaps there's going to be a way to get those packs maybe in the next season, for example. But maybe it is something that we'll actually start to see appearing in the season pass because we are due for a new season, season 42 uh, to begin. So that would be pretty on par if they were able to actually have, you know, I mean, they are going to have to replace the, like, it seems like they're moving away from these, like, boxes with, uh, like, specific puppies and moving towards this system of, like, the basket with puppies. So perhaps, we will actually see all of these, uh, which we call some of the opportunities to get puppies uh, over here of a specific sort get removed and replaced with that new basket with puppies, which if it gives us a shot at a Rottweiler would definitely be cool. Of course, there's also the possibility and potential for it to be coming in the form of an event, whether it be a prize uh, for an existing event, a prize for an upcoming event, or maybe, for example, the third week of the Forlorn Fair finally returning. That's another thing that we're waiting on. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get them as prizes uh, uh, throughout that. So definitely a lot of different possibilities where I could see it being added as some loot within the new future. Of course, we do have, I mean, on the horizon from a lot of different hints that the devs are dropping. Uh, it does seem like we are approaching rapidly the dropping of Act 3. And as we know, there are various prizes we got for previous acts in the past. And I mean, some of them could very well be some of these new Rottweiler pups, maybe a new location where we'll be able to get a Rottweiler pups. So there are still some possibilities for how this is going uh, to happen. And I'm looking forward to that. But while we are on the topic of new things that the update has has added uh let's definitely go and make our way over here into the crafting bench because another thing that's been added is that whenever you are assembling anything whether it's uh for example i can't unfortunately do this example at the moment maybe we'll be able to do it by the end of today actually we're going to be working towards it uh but the drone upgrade workbench as y'all can see anything in the crafting menu i don't have 500 wrenches in my inventory I cannot fit that many wrenches in my inventory, dude. Like, wh what do I look like? A freaking, uh, like a, a semi-truck hauling something cross-country? No, I am but a person with small pockets. But uh, here y'all can see, we can see everything inside of our base counting towards this uh, crafting. Now, I do have five iron rods, but those are over in the settlement. But something similar would happen if we made our way over to the settlement. Uh, we would see all the loot inside of the settlement and count towards any blueprints we might want to craft. So that's kind of a pretty cool thing over there is that any blueprint crafting, it takes into account everything inside of the location that you currently are, if it is your base or your settlement. Now, this does also extend a little bit uh, towards the modification crafting as well. As you all can see, I if I wanted to put in bolts, I don't have 552 bolts in my back pocket, but I have it spread out throughout my inventory and I, it, it counts towards building some of these modifications should I choose some really nice quality of life upgrade there uh, that, that I really do like about the update. This is something that's going to be able to help out everybody like pretty much right away. Is it just makes your like a, a life a lot easier. You don't need to go digging around for your stuff. It can just automatically apply uh, towards these things. And of course, that also does work for any like second stage of something that you're putting down. So for example, like if and when we were to put down the drone upgrade workbench, which like I'm saying, maybe we'll be able to do it by the end of today. Uh, you would be a then once you are prompted to craft the second stage of the drone upgrade workbench and fill it up with stuff. Uh, similar thing, it, it, you can use everything from your base to go ahead and do that. So definitely some nifty things going on over there. But without further ado, let's go and see if this Rottweiler perk is indeed going to be coming into play. And if we're going to see be seeing a little bit of action with that or what exactly might be going on because we are going abroad. 
and I'm, I literally am also going abroad, by the way, y'all, which, by the way, in case the videos do seem a little bit spaced out over the next couple, uh, couple of weeks on July 6th, I am, oh, baby, I will probably be copping that at some point because we do need a lot of copper wire to freaking finish building that thing in the second stage. Uh, I'm actually going to be heading over to Italy with my fiance, and we are going to be going on vacation uh, for like two and a half weeks. Hopefully, y'all don't notice too much throughout the, the YouTube channel because I am going to be... Uh, recording a bunch of videos a bunch of content ahead of time and trying to have that scheduled so y'all can see it going up so make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell to stay in the loop with all the content coming your way by the way if y'all have not yet be sure to check out some of the undone videos that we are posting on the channel too because if y'all do like last day on earth undone is another mobile survival game it's by the same people uh who made pubg mobile so definitely some very high quality devs over there they're gonna be supporting that but it seems like they're gonna be supporting it with quite a lot of updates and content and it is similar to last day on earth and that is an open world looting survival game i have done some pretty nice base building over there and you know i don't know i've just been having a ton of fun with it i think y'all will enjoy it as well so definitely do give it a look that series has been going on for a decent amount man i think we're about like 10 episodes or 10 parts and i'm already like pretty high level compared to like where the level cap currently is because the level cap does slowly get raised at the server level and stuff like that uh but yeah be sure to check it out man i seriously do think y'all may or may not uh and i i, I i'm leading more towards may you know maybe june no i'm kidding i'm, I'm making a pun a play on the words uh but i really do think that y'all are really going to enjoy that series so hopefully I'll do go ahead and give it a look and check it out and uh, plenty of content will be coming about that too but no worries LDO we ain't going anywhere baby especially as new updates and new content do come out ladies and gentlemen y'all know me when something new is coming to the game we gotta be checking that thing out on the absolute a diddly sap and making the best of that and oh goodness gracious we've got quite a lot of people coming our way because apparently once you shoot one zombie inside of the transport hub location everyone within a five mile radius just decides to come knocking at your window but that's all right because we'll be taking you down downtown baby you ain't going nowhere all right except six feet under do you come from a land down under do you float and blow to oh let's see lexi doing the damage but unfortunately yeah y'all can see she is only doing 15 damage which by lexi standards is pretty lackluster because each dog does five base damage the leader perk can increase that damage by quite a lot but uh unfortunately it appears that we may not have had the best luck in that department because that new perk only works if like for example lexi had the perk the dog that is the true friend needs that perk for it to take effect now i don't know if some of those other perks that we saw are going to work in a similar way shape form or fashion um so that's i mean we'll definitely be trying those out as they come but dude i'm definitely gonna be doing everything that i can to try to get our hands on a true friend rottweiler because with those perks i mean here's what i'm gonna say imagine because currently I, our three supporting dogs normally would have a, the leader perk and a lot of the leader perks. Each leader perk can boost your damage by up to pretty much five. So here's the thing. Imagine currently Lexi's like a perspective max damage is essentially... Um, if you think about it, Lexi does five base damage. We can have three dogs supporting her. Each of those dogs, if each of those dogs has a leader perk and doing five extra damage, Lexi's damage caps out at 20. I, currently, I have her when all the right dogs are in play at 19 just because I only, my third pup only has a leader that increases the damage by four. But let's say just scientifically speaking for, for the sake of science, we get it up to 20, right? And then instead of Lexi, we have a Rottweiler dog with that 50% boost to damage. That would mean that that Rottweiler pup would literally be doing 30 damage per bite that is insane to me man and that is a lot of power that we are going to be packing and that is definitely something that has me going like all right we really want to try and uh we really want to try to make this a thing we really want to try and go ahead and make this happen so that is exactly what we are going to be trying to do so make sure to subscribe with that notification bell ladies and gentlemen boys and girls to stay in the loop with that and oh no i'm bleeding it is like one of the last things that i wanted to be doing but over here we do have this ass monster coming our way i just want to go ahead and sidestep that thing because i'm not trying to get uh caught inside of you and then let's just try to take you down before you decide to use the spit because that Aston Welter spit is brutal. Our armor is about half their ability and we're going to have a uh, pretty gnarly boss battle awaiting us here. So we don't really want to blow through that too lickety splickety. Now, hopefully luck is on our side and we are going to have some of the good crates showing up that we'll be able to scan with our drone and acquire. But even if not, I mean, even just the crates that we can get through clear in this location, man, like even just the chests over here, like we're looting up, boom. All right, awful example. This is actually some of the worst loot I've ever seen come out of one of these crates. But y'all saw what we got on like that other lock crate, man. Like the, the, the stuff you can get out of here is pretty top notch and the transport up seriously. Oh, there's like a little cutscene now, like a little little like loading screen there when you pop into here. That's a little bit on the new side. That was not happening before. 
very, very interesting if you ask me. Let's go and do a little bit of damage to talk to Dart. Lexi, unfortunately, does not have the power to uh, climb like that, but, you know, that's all right. We'll make it do. We'll make it do, Lexi. I'll, I'll bring you back up here at some point. We're going to have this person running up on us here at some point, but luckily, sometimes they get stuck in, like, that weird place, and we are able to uh, essentially just kind of, like, not even have to worry about damaging them. I don't really care about the medical crate, so I'm not even going to bother scanning that. Uh, there is a crate, as y'all can see, on the minimap over there. I hope that's going to be the settlement one that we are looking for. There's going to be an acid melter awaiting us down at the bottom of this. So let's just make sure. Honestly, dude, just in case, I'm going butt naked because that's the only zombie that's going to be down here. So if something bad does occur, I would rather my armor not get obliterated. Woo! And beautiful, we are looking good. A little bit of a sidestep ski right there. And see you later, sayonara, alligator. Goodbye to you. The armor is coming back on right over there. And let's see what kind of crate we got over here. Please be a settlement crate. Big money, no whammy. 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 Bang, baby! That's the right one. You might be like, Star, but the, the, what do you mean? The, if you don't know, inside of the transport hub, there are, within each of the different four crates that spawn in, essentially, there's one of two versions that spawn in. We got the good version that can have iron rods inside of it. And specifically, that is what we need. So hopefully, we'll get those iron rods. If not, I mean, we could also get copper wire out of it. We could also get copper wire out of the last chest past the forklift. And you, I think you actually get more copper wire from that. And it's a lot more common but anyways i digress let's go oh let's see if this has changed at all no nope, that has not changed last day on our devs plus okay y'all did some nice quality of life updates and just things to make the lives of a last day outer survival a little bit easier throughout today's update but uh let's do let's do another change where i don't need to have the drone inside of my extra pocket just to scan this thing because it's kind of obnoxious because i'll scan it and then I will put the drone back inside of my inventory because I don't want my extra pocket being taken up by that. That just seems a little bit, uh, how does one say, extreme, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, let's wait for that to finish getting locked up. And bada-bing, bada-boom. We are looking good. Here we are going to have, yeah, quite a few annoying enemies over there. Absolutely hate dealing with those dudes. So let's make sure that we are dealing with them with a full durability uh, Kalashnikov 47. That will help make things a little bit easier because as soon as we climb down here, yeah, they're going to be running up on us and they have got armor and okay luckily it does appear like we got a little bit lucky i think and uh only two of them locked on to us which is good unless those unless like no no i think we do only have two of them locked on to us that's good uh we are about to yeah get shot by the freaking uh toxic darter over let's take him down before he has us a little bit more and let's go and there's also going to be about like 500 parasites slowly crawling their way towards me like uh you know like one of those <laughs> like they're, they're, it's, it's like they're just locked on to me man like snails like you know that like joke where it's like hey would you take a million ten million dollars if if, if but there was a snail chasing you for the rest of your life and if it touched you you died these are like those snails actually just kidding man these parasites are a little bit faster than snails but y y y you get you get what i'm saying or maybe i just sound criminally insane i don't know really you know there's a fine line uh but between those two options uh which we call uh yeah i'll keep with the pistol though with the backup slot we should be looking pretty good on that let's make sure that we are doing some of the looting here and not leaving anything left behind but that's actually a great question what, what would you all do man what, what, what would you all do in that situation if you get offered like 10 million dollars but it's like a snail's gonna chase you for the rest of your life the snail always knows where you are and if the snail touches you you die that, like, I don't know, man, you seem like, you know, it seems like an easy one. You're like, oh, it's just a snail. It's going to be, like, a, such a slowpoke and stuff. But it's like, you know, but, like, what if the snail, you know, hops on a plane? What if the snail, uh, like, you know, like, uh, like, I don't know, mind controls a person and then has that person shake your hand? And then, like, I don't know. And then, you know, he tra he's actually secretly hiding within the hand. Like, you know, you like, it seems like you wouldn't have to worry about it. You just maybe have to, like, move across the world, like, every couple of years or something to, you know, get rid of all his progress. But, man, I don't know. That's a, that's a sketchy, sketchy opportunity if you ask me but 10 million dollars is a lot of dollars dude that's like more than not i can count on my hands pretty significantly actually by that standard but anyways i digress uh what was i saying all right well yeah i don't know let, if y'all if y'all want to chime in on the snail discussion let me know y'all's logic around that but i don't know if i can take that man 10 mil is a lot but i don't know if i can live the rest of my life paranoid in fear of a snail you know that's like what ooh, Maybe a little bit of a pistol, not the durability I was hoping for. And we have gotten way better than a pistol from some of these crates, including things like uh, full durability shotgun raid, which by the way, we do have inside of our inventory. And we'll probably be putting that thing to use here in a little bit. But first things first, because uh, we, we do just have to clear the outside of the transportation hub. We still, though, have to get done cleaning up the inside of this puppy, which is exactly what we will be doing. Oh, a little bit of a katana. I don't know how long that's going to be sticking around in my inventory. I'll probably come back for it. But uh, the loot that I've got my hands on right now and the loot that I know the transport hub will be dropping 
popping it might be worth holding off a little bit i don't really care about that crate that crate can have some good guns and stuff but i know that the settlement crate spawned in so the settlement crate really is going to be like the number one thing i want to get my hands on let's go this crate never disappoints me you can get some rare stuff like hydraulic parts i've gotten car batteries out of this i've gotten like lead plates from like that freaking crate like dude transport hub is nice we of course do have the forklift over here nice and repaired and oh the classified crate so this is the other crate that i really like you can get a lot of good loot out of this thing i'll even show you guys the loot table once we can go ahead and actually uh get one of these crates dropped but one of the things that that crate also can drop is copper wire so actually i kind of like a honestly going for that crate more than the settlement crate and i actually might start going for that crate after the, after we get this last little bit of iron rods uh, that we need to build up the drone workbench because I think if we get it, we should get about three of those iron rods out of the, um, whatchamacallit, the thing uh, that we just had. Uh, I'm brain farting really hard. Uh, oh, out of the crate, out of that second crate, out of that settlement crate, we should be able to, if it does spawn in, it should spawn in, I believe, at least a denomination of three. So that would bring our iron rod total up to eight, which is exactly what we need to craft up the drone upgrade workbench and y'all can see we now that we've left our base we don't have 500 wrenches anymore so just kind of like demonstrating that a little bit more that's really cool though i, I do like that and I, like I, I i do like the rottweiler side of the update i'm really excited to try to unlock some of those perks and stuff but it is a bummer that currently the only way to get rottweilers is going to be via the store i mean i imagine that's gonna have to change in the near future here and they'll probably add ways that you know rottweilers get dropped via loot from like events and the story coming up and you know potentially the season pass and stuff like that but but at the moment, it is a bummer that is essentially you have to get your hands on some of those baskets with puppies. But I got to imagine those baskets with puppies do start getting dropped from, you know, another another form. I mean, that, that it just seems logical. You know what I mean? And all right, another thing that's logical, shotgun rain. And we are going to be spreading quite a lot of it. And, ooh, we got some paper. At first, we were having to get large containers. We thought they would be cold and we were able to store all the food in them. But someone started knocking and banging on the roof at night there. And then they roared. No one has dared to open any of the containers. Yeah, because they've got a boss in them. And let me just say, man, those bosses can be complete and utter doom canoes and hello hello my friends i am going to try to gather around gather around as many of y'all as i can so i can blast the all the big old blast shotgun rain so stay dry while others feel the pain shotgun rain oh goodness gracious man let's go and barrel roll out of there okay well unfortunately they still heal even after i barrel roll out of their way which is kind of annoying but luckily we should be able to take them down and thanks to that shotgun rain active skill mod blast that we were able to unload on them we're looking to be in pretty good shape anyway so no worries no worries baby now let's go and clear out just about I think like four more zombies over here. There's gonna be a couple more inside of some of the crates, most likely. But we're gonna have two over there. We're gonna have one outside of the ship, and we're gonna have two on the ship. But it doesn't matter where y'all are because y'all are all going to the same place. That is called your grave because you ain't surviving the one, the only star snipe with Lexi and shotgun right inside of his pocket as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we do know where the crate in these three uh, containers has spawned because. It's peeking out of the back of this one, so I'll be opening you up. Hello, hello. We are going to have a pale zombie over here. Hello, hello. And why don't we bring out a little bit of shocker right over here to blast the other one that is left? Because I would like to keep the uh, Kalashnikov 47 for the bosses that we are going to inevitably, indubitably be facing. Some stay dry while others feel the paint shotgun rain. And now I'm just going to slowly bleed out to death. Uh, why don't we go and actually activate our healing ability here to go and counteract that a little uh, bit. And is that going to heal us all the way up to full? Oh, no, Lex, you're tired. That's right, Lex. You done good. You deserve a nice little nap. And I deserve some of the loot inside of this. So let's freaky go. Big money in a whammy. Big money in a Big money in a whammy. Big money in a whammy. Bang, baby. Full durability. Uzi had some pretty good loot to go along with it. Those are things that uh, I, I, I think could be considered things that you love to see. You love to see that right there. And ooh, the saw blade mace. I'll probably have to circle on back uh, for that thing. Let's go and actually, eh, I'll, I'll grab it in my inventory now. We're, we're probably gonna get even better loot. So I'm gonna have to leave some stuff here and come back for the rest. Uh, but that's right. I can do that on my own time on my own dime don't even worry now one of these two crates is gonna be spawning in a boss and we gotta be prepared for that our armor durability should be enough to withstand whatever boss gets thrown at us but uh we will see i i think the boss is not gonna be in this crate because i heard zombies yeah oh oh the pest we got the pest spawning in over here hey buddy how you going how you doing how you going where are you freaking running this guy's gonna be able to drop some uh laboratory loot and he, he just kind of like does his little, little, little thing over here okay see you later alligator dude some of the things that these things drop are so random but bang that's kind of freaking cool i mean this 
it's not like the, the most or the greatest loot in the world but hey that some of this stuff will come in handy for us leveling things up so uh i will come back for the pest don't worry about that uh and i'm gonna swap in a full durability ak-47 because we're gonna need that because we're about to be dealing with a little bit of a boss. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I got completely sidetracked by this a little bit earlier. Uh, me and my fiance Ada are heading over to Italy for the next like two and a half weeks. I'll try to maybe like post some like, I don't know, post some stuff on Instagram, maybe some stories, give you all little, little sneak peeks of what life is looking like over there. But uh, yeah, I mean, first like first vacation we've gone on in like a freaking year since the last Italy vacation where we actually got engaged. So that was pretty cool. Little little life update there. If y'all have missed out on some of the updates that we've been providing throughout uh, what you call throughout like the streams and stuff start what are you talking about yeah I, oh, hello miner how are you doing can you here's what i gotta do i gotta get the miner to start uh, uh freaking can you start just doing like your area of effect attacks beautiful once we get him to start doing those he is a lot easier to take down because i really don't need to worry about the guy as much and the dude oh let's just make sure not to get caught inside of any of his like nonsense over here uh, can, can you stop hitting me, man? Because every time you hit me, that's like a guaranteed 26 damage. I, I prefer when you do that because you usually miss me. And uh, I really do like it when you miss me. Although, dude, he has so much freaking armor on at this point, man. It is kind of obnoxious. But that's all right. We'll continue blowing through these Kalashnikov 47s. And next time we get him to do some sort of area of effect attack, I'm going to need to... How He, he hit me in that! Dude, get that guy out of here. Get that guy. Da, 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 da. Get that guy out of here. Get the, da, da. Can I please uh, go and put this into there so I can put another AK into our backup slot? Oh, no. I've been hit. I've been hit. I've been hit. I gotta heal. I gotta heal, like, right away. Dude, stop letting me heal. Oh, my goodness. We almost died. We were down to four health. Ah, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine and dandy, dude. Everything is fine and dandy. I just hate how much armor this guy does start to have. It is, like, kind of obnoxious. I'm going to go stab you with my AK because that does, like, 18 damage. Doesn't give a hoot about armor. Oh, we barely just dodged that. That was getting to be a little bit close. We got it. Yeah, we got to just always, whenever he starts moving towards you, you want to make sure that you are on the move so you do not get caught in a blast like that. Pretty soon here, you should start doing, like, some sort of other area of effect attack, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, there we go. There he's going to do that. And I'm going to go and stab him right in the back. And if I can just get him to do, like, one more attack, just like that we are gonna have to get another ak here into this rotation pretty soon and we're gonna do that right now and beautiful that should be more than enough to get us through this and -la 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 -la. beautiful 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 we're looking good we're gonna let him do that let's stab him in the back oh 36 because that's the power of the bayonet baby i know that you also get the active skill mod of the granata launcher on the ak-47 but man i gotta say it is just i love the bayonet exactly for this reason right over here as y'all are seeing it just is able to completely ignore damage. And if you get lucky and you manage to get a critical hit too, like look at that, our bullets are doing four damage over here. Uh, let's go and stab him a little bit there. Let's make sure that we don't get caught inside of his area. The tech, our armor is starting to get pretty worn down over here though, which is slightly concerning. Let's not get caught inside of that. Do a little bit more damage and then stab him! Goodbye, miner, and hello to your lovely loot that will unlock the containers that you protect inside of this place and oh dude my throat is feeling freaking dry i don't know man i woke up with like a little bit of a sore throat over here but i hope it's not too bad dude because we're leaving at the time of me recording this which is the same day y'all are seeing it uh in two days i freaking leave and uh i really hope i'm not sick right before vacation man that'd be brutal i don't go on a lot of vacations i'm too busy i mean i got the nine to five job that i'm working i'm busy trying to freaking whenever i can record videos for y'all and stream for y'all start what are you talking about oh yeah that's right by the way we do stream in case you guys uh, don't know it every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time play last out earth having a ball having a blast at twitch.tv slash star we were live every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time if you don't know what time that starts in your local time so twitch.tv slash star slash schedule also a link near the top of the description of the pit comment we'll be able to go ahead and help you out and twitch.tv slash star is also a link in the top of the description and pit comment and stuff like that uh because if you do not know that is going to be where we're live every single Friday 6 p.m. Eastern time. We got the face cam on, we got the live chat rolling, the whole community coming out, having a ball, having a blast, and it does make for a really a fun time and a great way to go ahead and kick off the weekend with some bonus last day on earth content, sometimes with other stuff as well. I don't know what that is over there. It wants me to like interact with something. Is that like a dead body below? I think that is exactly uh what that is. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be going on. It's always a great way to go ahead and kick off the weekend, have a really fun time, have a blast with some bonus last down or content. And maybe we'll even mix in a little bit of Undone content while we are at it. No promises there. But uh, Undone does have Twitch drops actually confirmed, by the way. So that would be really cool to have y'all be able to like log in with your Undone account or link your Undone account to your Twitch account too and be able to get like loot in Undone literally just for watching. But anyways, I digress this last day out. I'm not gonna talk too much about Undone. Already shamelessly plugged it in. I told y'all to check out the video. So hopefully, y'all do do that. But that's enough uh, that I'm doing on that front. But uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing some folks of ladies and gentlemen, boys. The girls over there at those twitch streams and actually quick little announcement about those twitch streams because of the fact that 
I am going to be on vacation in a foreign country where I don't really know what the internet situation is going to be looking like because our number one priority is, uh, you know, en enjoying the vacation while we are uh, out and about uh, over there. Oh my goodness, I just disintegrated his head. Uh, what should we call? So what's going to be going on is that there's going to be no streams for like essentially the next three weeks. Uh, if I actually can check a calendar really quickly here, uh, the next stream isn't going to be until July 28th. Just as a little bit of a heads up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so for that, I do apologize, but you know, that's just the way she goes because we are going to, you know, going on vacation. I just want to make sure to give you all plenty of heads up on that. So there's going to be a couple of weeks of no streams, but then we will be back better than ever because every stream only keeps on getting better and uh yeah kicking the weekends off right for the all of us looking forward to seeing some new boys and girls ladies and gentlemen over there and i am not looking forward to seeing this battalion of riot zombies because y'all are literally the worst of all the zombies and i despise all of you but that's all right we'll go ahead and get y'all exploding over there let's not get caught inside of those and voila oh the riot zombie i was gonna say his shield's down and then of course he puts it up right as i say that okay beautiful this one's shield is down and we might actually be able to take him down before he decides to put it up lovely baby lovely 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 please keep it down keep it down keep it down keep it down you two keep it down please 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 please, please. no he was so close to being dead i could stab him but it only does one damage because uh what you might call that's the cool thing about the bayonet too man and why honestly it is one of my favorite freaking things in the game and i, I like here's the thing the grenade launcher attachment for the ak is really cool because it's literally like a pocket grenade launcher but man the, just the power of the bayonet like the, the the stats that it gives your ak are pretty similar really the only thing that matters or the only thing that it substantially changes is the ability that you get associated with it but man I am just a sucker for that ability. Oh, baby, we love to see that. Uh, I am just a sucker for the ability uh, to be able to just completely ignore an enemy's armor with that thing. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work for armored enemies that have like that level one piercing armor that we need to use like the neutralizer to take down. That's completely different, it's a completely unique thing going on over there. But uh, it, it still is just, oh man, it's it's lovely. I love it. I love it. How can you not love it? And because like, yeah, I mean, y'all literally saw like when we're fighting the miner, man, I mean, instead of all the armor that he has, not armor piercing armor, but just like normal armor that just decreases the damage you do normally without requiring the armor piercing. Uh, it's just, it's just so versatile because like we are doing with the AK, like four damage per hit. I stab him. It does 18. You know, like that, that there's just so much value in being able to ignore armor like that minus the armor piercing stuff. And I am a sucker for it. What can I say? But all right, anyways, I digress. Let's go and let's make our way over here. Insert the card and hopefully get those iron rods that we need to begin the construction of what we was talking about. So iron rods are something we can get out of here. Oh, did they change? Did they update this? because normally we see the copper wire inside of the possible rewards inside of this crate and i don't see it anymore and people have said they haven't gotten copper wire out of this thing in a minute uh what you recall you can get i got a lot of copper wire out of this classified crate over here and y'all can see you get like a bunch of like drone parts and stuff out of here too you can get a tactical backpack of freaking ar armor piercing weapons really good stuff but uh, i'm really looking for a lot of these new items added within the drone update that we can get our hands on uh, from popping this thing open. So without further ado, let's unload it and let's hope that those three iron rods are awaiting us. Uh, please, big buddy, no way, 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 Unfortunately, it does appear like luck is not on our side today, ladies and gentlemen. It appears uh, that we have, uh, our hearts have been broken and uh, what we were looking for we have not acquired there were no iron rods here we did get other very handy stuff though, like sturdy frames chipboards iron frames or iron pipes not frames uh and a bunch of other really good stuff but uh, unfortunately the three iron rods that we are on the hunt for do continue uh to evade us so that uh, does uh does hurt and with that i don't really have anything else that i'm going to be able to build because i have built everything else so i can't really show that kind of quality of life improvement from the update but that's all right we'll continue uh, trucking on forward and trying to get this drone upgrade workbench built hopefully asap man i really would like to get this thing built and start actually building some drone upgrades it's just not it's not a cheap thing to build man that thing is a pricey thing but anyways i digress with that said with that done let me know what y'all do think about the update what y'all think about the rottweilers and the perks it is a bummer like i think my opinions are just it's a bummer that the rottweilers currently have to be bought from the pack but I'm optimistic that we'll start being able to get that pack through events and, you know, story acts coming up and stuff like that. So, and maybe even just, it'll get added into locations like the farm and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool if we get an off chance at getting our hands on a Rottweiler. 
but I am a big fan of their perks, man. Those perks seriously seem like if you get the right combo, dude, imagine uh, like, you know, the, the perk that our Rottweiler got the 50% more true friend damage. Uh, you know, if we get our true friend doing 20 damage, plus that 50% perk brings it up to 30, plus maybe that perk where our dog can cause bleeding. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The Rottweiler has the ability to really elevate the true friend to the next level, and I'm looking forward to hopefully building the most lethal combination possible with that, and we're gonna be trying our booty off to make that happen. Boy, that's it with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's gonna start breaking ads this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys a whole lot of watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.